that shoulders down away from your ears. If you feel comfortable, lengthen the other leg long down the mat as well. And here we are stretching round. Push the heel to the ceiling. Pull your toes towards your nose. Keep your bottom on the mat. Round we go, lengthening through those hamstrings. Breathing in, breathing out. Now take the strap in one hand, the same hand as the leg. Drop the leg out to the side, all the way over there. Lengthening through those inner thigh muscles. And then right up and over the other side. Bring the other arm out to the corner and then draw that leg over to the side. Push the heel away. Now turn your foot towards the floor so you really get that lovely stretch right down the sciatic nerve. Oh, that feels nice. And over the other way again. Let's do one more each side. Right over the side. Stretch through those inner thigh muscles. And over we go. Right over there. Turn it over there. Stretch it through the waist. Lovely over there, lengthening through it. And back in the middle. Now we're going to swap legs. Get the other leg right on the base of your toes, your metatarsal heads. And really stretch that leg up long. Now it doesn't matter how high it is, but it needs to be straight. Even if it's here, but straight. Lengthen the heel up into the ceiling. Keep your bottom on the mat. Let's lengthen the other leg right down towards the floor. Stretch that leg long as well, opening up the front of your hip. And wrap the strap around your hands. Push the heel into the ceiling and let's go for the circles round the ceiling. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Lengthen away. Do put your head on a cushion if you want to protect your neck. Put your head on a cushion. Relax your neck and shoulders. Round we go and round we go. Nice. Now we're going to go out to the side. One hand on the strap and lengthen through, push the heel away from you. And we're going to draw back over, swap hands, we're going to go over the other side, lengthen through. Hold that position, turn your foot towards the floor, glance the other way with your head. Hold and breathe in, breathe out, gently does it. We're going to swap sides again, right over there, lengthen that heel away, stretch, stretch, stretch. Oh, I really need this today. And over the other side, right up and over, stretching through the waist, right over there. And back in the middle. Well done, guys. Let's pop the strap just by your side. You're going to need it in a minute. Okay, we're going to do our prep stretch. Bring your right knee into your chest and lengthen the other leg right down the floor. Elbows wide like a chicken and lengthen through the neck. Now really bring that knee right up towards your shoulder. Lengthen the other leg right down towards the floor. Push your heels away. Pull your toes up towards your face. And now point your toes right down, 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 down. And pulling up. And pointing down. And turning in and out. And swapping legs. Get the other leg right down again. Open up the hips. Just be careful if you've had a new hip. Open up those elbows. Push the heels away. Get that knee into your chest. And point down. And up, and down, and up, and in, and out. And both knees together. Now roll your back into the mat. Nice little roly-poly, roly-poly into that mat. Opening up your low back. Nice wide feet, wide arms. Drop the knees out to the side. Right up and over. Get that lovely stretch through the hips. Lengthen the waist away. Breathing in and out. Drop the knees right down and in. Open up those hips. Nice breathing in and out. Lovely. And back into centre. Nice, guys. Now we're going to pick up the strap once more. Let's double it up and wrap it around our hands a bit as well. So the strap's in the sky. Now I want you to think about getting your low back on the mat. Drop your back into the mat so it's nice and neutral. Switch on your tummy button. Get your ribs down and in. Scoop up your pelvic floor. Now pull the rope apart, pull the strap apart, and we're going to keep pulling it apart as we bring it up into the sky, over our head, as comfortable as we can. If you've got painful shoulders, do not push it, and keep pulling open into those arms, open, pull the strap apart, keep your ribs anchored, keep your back pinned down, and this time when we come forward, we're going to reach towards the knees with our chest, and again over our head, breathing in. Back 
is pinned in. Breathing out, reaching forward. Strong tummy on the way down as well. And breathing in. Breathing out, scooping forwards. And releasing two more. Nice breath in. Squeezing through the front. And releasing down. Last one. Keep pulling that rope. Pull that strap apart, bring it into your shoulders and releasing all the way back down. And let's just drop the strap behind us and pin your arms down the mat. Now get yourself nice and comfortable. Again, elbows down. We're going to go for a nice cycling leg. So bring that right knee towards your chest. Lengthen your toe into the ceiling. Grow long with the toe towards the floor. Keep your back pinned in. Keep your tummy strong. Scoop some sand towards your bottom with your foot. And again, lengthen away. Scoop the sand towards you. The trick is to keep your tummy working all the time throughout this. Solid tummy. Lengthen away, scoop. If it's too easy, you can lengthen the other leg down as well. Get an extra challenge to keep your back pinned into the mat. Grow long, scoop. Grow long, scoop. Grow long, scoop. One more. And lengthen and scoop. Swapping legs. If it's too much for your back, keep this knee bent and lengthen the way and drawing in. Keep control of that tummy. If you want the extra challenge, we're long with the other leg. Ribs down, pin yourself into the mat. Scoopsh, scoopsh, scoopsh. That's it, keep your pinned in. Ribs down, strong thighs. Two more, get that blood pumping. Last one. Very nice, and releasing back. Now open the feet and knees nice and wide. Hands are going to be behind the head. We're going to take a breath in. We're going to breathe out. We're coming up with the chest. Now look down at your belly button. Keep your chin off your chest. Get your ribs forwards two more inches. Let's all feel our, our, our tummy with our left hand. Keep the power in your tummy on the return journey to the mat. Breathing in, breathing out. Coming forwards, look at your tummy. Get your ribs forwards two more inches. Your head is soft in your hands. Solid with the tummy all the way down as well to the mat. Two more, breath in, scoop up. Pshhh. Head soft, ribs forwards two more inches. Solid and scooping down, last one. Breath in, scoop forward, solid, solid. And scooping back down all the way. Marvellous. Getting rid of your block from behind your head. We're going to go into a bridge. Get those arms long down the mat. Feet are nice and wide for this bridge today. We're going to flatten through the lumbar spine. We're peeling up into the sky, right up into the ceiling. Spread your toes out. Try and keep the pressure through the outside of your feet. Lengthen the knees over the toes. Big stretch into the sky with those arms above your head. Can we go on the tippy toes? And slowly down, 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 through the vertebrae, into the mat. Get that lumbar spine to stretch into the floor. And arms are coming down. Breath in. Scooping through. Flatten through the lumbar spine. Keep your chin in. And we're floating up into the sky. Knees over toes. Shimmy those arms wide above your head. Tippy toes. Now, if you want to get your back connected a little bit more, we can come up into the chest. And we're going to squish the low back into the mat. Reach between your knees. Get that low back to connect with the floor. Let's go again. That felt so good. Feet close to your bottom. Flatten through. Up we come into the sky. Stretching into the ceiling. Lengthen away. And we're coming up. We're trying to place our bottom further down the mat than when we started. Lengthening through. The pelvis comes down last. Gorgeous. Let's go one more. Flattening through the back, lifting up through the pelvis. Strong with the bottom. Big arms in the sky. Tippy toes. And lifting and scooping, stretching down into the mat. Woo! Lovely. And releasing. Now we're going to stay in that position because we are thinking of our bottoms more today. Keep your feet nice and wide. Use your elbows. We're going to lift up into the bridge. Now, Check out your low back's not over arched. Keep your low back tucked under and make sure your tummy's working hard for you. Pin your elbows in the mat. Feet are wide each side. We're going to hold that position. We're going to keep our tummy working, but we're going to squeeze the knees together and open them wide and squeeze together. 
and open and wide. Let's all feel our bottom. Cup your butt cheeks with your fingers and what should they be like? They should be like coconuts. That's it, two coconuts in a hanky. And squeeze together and wide. And squeeze and wide. And squeeze and wide. Couple more, squeeze and wide. And squeeze and wide. Now keep them together on the way down to the mat. Nice. Now feet and knees are together. Pin your arms down the mat. We're going to lift up into the sky with our bottom. Holding that position there. We're going to go for 10 little pulses. Elbows wide. Elbows pinned and squeeze. Squish one. Squish two. Knees together. Shins together. Squeezy bottom and squeezy bottom. Keep going. Use your elbows. Squish. 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 Three more. And squish. And squish. Very good. And keep them together. Floating down to the mat. Marvellous. Now hip width apart with those feet. Lengthen those arms. We're going up here. Now we're holding it there. Walking forwards and forwards and back and back and forwards and forwards and back and back. Keep control of the bottom. Keep control of the elbows. Forwards, forwards, back, back, forwards, forwards, back, back, forwards, forwards, back. Back. Keep it there. Give your bottom a bit of an encouragement with a clap. And we're going out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Keep the lovely height in your bridge. Don't sink. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, and slowly out. Woo! Well done, guys. Bring those knees in. And give them a little wobble side to side. Gorgeous, well done. Now while we're in this position, we're going to do a single leg stretch. The right leg is going out long. The opposite hand is across to that knee. The other hand's going towards your ankle. Lift up your chest towards that thigh, elbows wide like a chicken, and squeeze, squeeze, swap. Get the other hand on the inside, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Now really push the other leg long. Push that leg away and push that leg away. Your tummy's working hard. Two more. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Well done, guys. I'm back in the center. Now let the knees pull us forward. We're going to push the knees forward. Little roly-poly. Let the scapula slide down the side of the chest. Open up your back. We're going to pop up into sitting from there. And let's go for a nice forwards lean. Oh, well done. Feet are wide on that mat. Slide your hands down towards your ankles. Drop your head between your knees. Open up your low back muscles. Take a breath in and out. Drop your chin down. Just give those muscles time to open behind you. And scooping back up top. Let's go again. Reaching forwards now towards the front of the mat. Draw your tummy in towards your back. Reach down over there and stretch, stretch, stretch. And scooping up tall, long neck. Let's go one more. Over you go, lengthen through, chin in. Reach, reach, reach. And scoop up. Now we're going to take that into a side bend. So let's sit cross-legged if you can. If it's uncomfortable, stick your legs in front. And if you want to sit on a block, put a block under your bottom if that's more comfortable. So sitting up tall, hands on knees. Lengthen through your head. Left hand on the floor. Right hand reaching up and over. Keep your bottom on the mat. Look under your right armpit, open up those intercostals, open up those ribs, let your lungs expand. And we're swapping sides, hand on the mat. Over you go the other side. Look under your armpit, stretch over, breath in and out. Lovely. It's good to keep your lungs nice and mobile and stretched. You never know when you might need them. Over there we go, stretch, stretch, stretch. And one more, the other side, opening our roll up. Get your ribs forwards and side bend and back in. Well done, now we're gonna come up onto all fours. So let's get into a little table position on the mat. Open up your hands nice and wide in front of your shoulders. Now really own those arms, don't sink into them. Own them and really use your fingertips on that mat. Spread out your fingers. Shins are long on the mat. 
Now we're going to arch like it cat into the sky, stretch your chest right up high in the ceiling, pull your belly under, pull your pelvis under, and now slide your shoulder blades down your back, lengthen through, drop your chest towards the mat, stick your bottom out behind you. Oh, that feels good. Get your chest down, mind your back, don't go too far. Lift up into the sky again, stretch into the ceiling. And down you go, lengthen through, drop your chest down to the mat. One more big one, into the sky, big stretch into the ceiling. And down you go, lengthen through the chest. Now, we're going to keep yourself in a table position. You're flat from your head to your tailbone. Let's get your knees in the middle a little bit more. We're going to lengthen that right leg out behind us. Hold it there. Now, get yourself comfortable. We're going to use those bottoms again. We're going up in the sky and we're floating down. So try not to let your low back do too much extension. Keep that back connected. Lengthen toes away and slow. It's good to work on our arms because when our arms are in this position, we're using our triceps and our biceps and our shoulder girdle. We're building up the calcium in our arms, which is always a good thing. And two more of those, squish, squish. Now we're going under, same leg, and we're kicking out. Curl under, stretch out, curl under, stretch, stretch. Your glutes are a very important muscle. They help protect your back and they help your your knee and your foot position. Now we're going to stamp. Here we are. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And last thing, keep going. We're out to the side. Squeeze like a doggy and squish and squish. Stabilize with those shoulders. Keep your tummy drawn under. It's not sagging to the floor. Last one, squish. Squish and release down. Well done. Now we do have to do the other side. Okay, so if your arms are getting tired or they're sore, you can come onto your elbows and do it on your elbows, but try and do it up here if you possibly can. Here we go again. Stabilize, long neck. Pull your tummy under, lengthen the other leg long, shoulders down your back, use your fingers and squish. Power up your tummy. Pretend you're unscrewing two honey jars on the floor with your fingers. Try and twist your hands outwards and pull the power into your armpits. And squish, and squish, and squish. Couple more, looking good. Glutes working, hamstrings working. And now we're drawing under and stretch up. Pull it under with your tummy, lengthen. Bring your chin down and lengthen. And scoop, lengthen, and lengthen. Lengthen two more. Lengthen. Lovely. Now again, use those armpits. We're going to stand to the sky. Foot bent and squish. 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 Well done. Squish. 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 Strong. Bottom. Working. Hard. Don't forget your tummy button all the time. Well done. Last one out of the side. Squish. And squish. <sighs> Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Two more. Psh, psh. And let's go into child's pose. Draw your bottom down. Oh, my arms felt that as well. That's good. Drop your nose down towards your knees. Lengthen your fingertips away. Breath in and out. And I'm going to come from there onto our tummies. So let's lie down on your tummy all the way down. And we're going to go into a diamond press. Now. Get your fingers in a nice diamond position under your nose, lengthen through your head, and just let your feet just drift into a V-shape behind you. Slide your shoulder blades down your back, lengthen through your head, lift up through your chest. Now take your time with this one, grow long. Slide your shoulder blades down. Your lower ribs are staying on the mat. Your lower ribs are about here, so keep them down and grow long. Let's stretch, open up your clavicles, Lift up through the sternum. Don't let it go into your low back. And then slowly down we go to the mat. Nice breath in. Slide your shoulder blades down. Lifting up through it. Grow along through the top of your head. Lengthen through. Nice breath in and out. Lovely. Let those chest muscles open behind you. And release. One more of those should do it. Nice breath in. Roll on. Tuck your elbows in. 
Lengthen through, lift up through the chest. Nice breath in and out, very good. And release. Now one more thing to do on our tummy. Let's squeeze our feet and knees together. Grow long through your head. Get your hands behind your back, if you can, in a nice little basket. Interlink your fingers. Squeeze your feet together, squeeze your knees together, squeeze your bottom. Grow long through your head. You're not lifting very high. You're pushing your hands towards your heels. Open up through your clavicles. Grow, grow, grow. Strong bottom. Nice breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath out. Squeeze your bottom, squeeze your knees. And releasing back down again. We're going to go again with that one. Nice breath in. Squeeze feet, squeeze knees. Lengthen your hands down. Grow long through your head. Open up your clavicles. Lovely. And releasing back. Hands are wide. Up onto your knees. Tuck your toes under. Open up your fingers. We're going to lift up into the down dog. Hold that position. Push your heels down to the floor. Tuck your chin in and look at your knees. Bending now with the feet. And bending. Push the heel away. Push the heel away. Get the toes having a good old bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Two more. Bend and stretch. Very good. And down we come. And we're coming into side line onto the mat with our head on our arm curled up. Nice guys. Well done. Keep going. Nearly done. Now in this position, remember, we're going to keep our tummy switched on. Give it a poke. I want it firm to the touch. Keep your back tucked under in neutral. Hand on the mat. Length that leg away. Here we go into circles. We're going forwards. We're going up and we're going around. Do not let your shoulders wobble forwards. Keep everything else pinned into the mat. Strong tummy throughout. Keep giving it a little poke to remind it. And if you think this is too easy, lengthen the other leg down the mat as well so you can just see it in front. Round we go. Forwards, up, round the back. Forwards, up, round the back. Lovely. Two more. Forwards, up, round the back. Very good. And releasing back in front again. Now into the clamp because we are focusing on our bottoms today and our hips. Bend up those knees. Heels together, toes together. Lifting up through the back of that hip. We want a really good strong bottom. Squeeze those heels together, squeeze those toes together. And on the way down, crackle walnut between your knees. Strong tummy. Up we go again. Squish and squeeze. We're not going to rock backwards. We're, we're leaning against a glass wall. Do not squish the glass wall. Squeeze. Squish. And squish. And squish. Two more. And squeeze. Last one. Lovely, guys. Now we're going to stretch out the front of the hip. Bend that back knee behind. Open up the hips. Hold on to your foot. Now keep your knee nice and low down so it's not overused. Stretch the front of those hips out. Bring the leg forward. Push the heel away from you. Pull your toes up towards your face. Kicking back. Opening up the hips. Careful of your knees. Don't overbend your little knees. Keep your, it's all about the hip going backwards. Keep your knee open. And forward kick. One more. Kicking back. All the way. Holding on. Stretch, stretch, stretch behind you. Oh, that feels so nice. And back in the middle. Now we're going to do our open book from here. If you want to have a little cushion, you can bring, you can bring a little cushion under your head. Let's do the open book because it's one of my favourites. We're going to stretch open through the chest. Open up nice and wide. Ah, oh, lovely. And scooping back in the front. It's good to keep our chest nice and mobile. Keep those lungs expanding. Now let's hold this position. Glance around at your hand. Lengthen the other leg long away if you feel you can. Don't if it's over. If it's too painful, then don't go for that extra stretch. Nice. And let's do one more because it feels so good. Opening up through the chest. Opening up wide. Try and get your sternum parallel to the ceiling. Draw your chest around the corner. And releasing back. Yay, very nice guys. We're going to go down the other end and do the other side of our hips. So let's spin around so you can still see me. Don't turn your back so you can't see. 
Let's lengthen again, here we go. Shoulders down your back, lengthen through, and we've got that leg there long on the mat. We're gonna go forwards, we're gonna go up, and we're gonna go round and down. Forwards, round and down. So all those hip muscles are working to get that lovely lengthening through the leg. Don't forget your tummy muscles. Keep your shoulders nice and stacked one on top of the other so they're not moving and the hand can go in front to help you balance. If you want an extra challenge, the bottom leg is long as well, scoping back and around. Pull the toes up on that bottom leg so you can really anchor yourself to the floor. Two more, up and around, up and around. And here we are coming into a clam, heels together, be precise, look down, be precise. Lifting up through that top leg, squeeze the back of your hips, squeeze the toes together, squeeze the heels together, and squish the knees together on the way down. And up you go, squish and squeeze. Keep those feet nice and high, around and squish. Let's go, squish. Make sure your bottom's really getting as high as you can get it into that abduction and lateral rotation of those hips. And squish and squeeze down as well with purpose. Squish up and squeeze down. Last two. Squish, squeeze and squeeze. And now leg long, back behind you. Hold onto your shin. Open up the front of your hips. Keep the tension out of your neck. Open up your clavicles on the front of your shoulder. And kick forward all the way through the front. Kicking back all the way and stretching back through. Keep that knee down low. Lovely, bring it through and lengthen. Stretch back all the way. Hold on, lengthen it through. Low down knee. Don't let your back take over. One more, kick forwards and back. And all the way through. Lengthen the front of those hips. Marvellous, and now both knees are bent up in front. I'm gonna get my head block. I'm gonna go for the open book. Arms are out in front of you. Stretch the top arm in front. Keep it low down, don't go too high. Open up your chest muscles. Reach the other hand long along the floor as well. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And all the way back in front you come. Breathing in. Breathing out, big stretch. If you feel comfortable, you can lengthen the top leg away from you. Glance around the corner. And scooping back. Let's go again, round we go, lengthen the leg away, looking around the corner, feel that lovely lengthening sensation through your waist and back in the neck. Well done guys, lovely. Now onto your back once more, we're just gonna finish off a little bit of a tummy muscle exercise. So here we go. We're gonna go for the double leg stretch. Now we're gonna start off with the knees bent in. We're gonna bring our chest right up towards those knees. Nice breath in. Really switch on that tummy, because when we breathe out, we're gonna lengthen the legs as far as you feel you can into the sky. Wrap your hips around the back, strong bottom. Reach towards your ankles, arms up, arms into a T, and sweep it back, curling in. We can have a little rest back down. Breathing in, breathing out, lengthen, reach, and scoop. Keep your back pinned into the mat. The further your legs go and lower down, the harder it is. So if you wanna go lower, go lower, but do not let your back take over. Scoop into a T and scooping back. Power up. Psh, two more, breathing in. Psh, breathing out. Psh, and back in you come and let's roll the back into the mat again. And draw forwards, little roly poly, popping up into sitting. Well done guys, now we're gonna finish off with a little mermaid. Let's get our little feet nice and wide. Lengthen through the top of your neck. Left hand down, reaching across the floor with that right hand, all the way into the corner. Look down at your knees. If it's uncomfortable sitting like this, put a block under your bottom and that'll help. Now, holding onto your shin, let's go for the counter stretch, opening up through your waist muscles. Onto your elbow now and reach across the floor over into the corner, right over there. Bring your heart down onto the floor. Stretch away with those fingers nice and long. Ooh, scooping back. Don't use your head too much. Keep your head in the middle and look under your armpit. 
Let's go one more into that position. Over you go into the corner. Big stretch. Lengthen away. And coming back. Lovely. We're going to spin now and do the other side. So get your feet around the other side if you can. If it's uncomfortable, put a block under your hip. And here we are with our hand on the floor. Looking under the armpit. Stretch away. Open up your ribs. And coming back and open up the other side. Looking under your right armpit, stretching open. Get your intercostals having a stretch. And onto your elbow, dive into the corner of the room over there. Really lengthen through. Nice breath in and out. Give it time. And coming back, hand on shin and over you go. Big stretch through. And again, onto the back, right into the corner, stretching over there. And coming back, and right over the other side. Lovely, guys. Now, just sit in cross-legged if you can, or sit with your legs out in front of you if that's more comfortable. We're going to go a little bit of a neck stretch to finish off. Be gentle with your necks, okay? We're going to bring our right ear to our right shoulder, nice and gently. Don't force it. Feel a stretch going down through the left side of your neck. Take your right hand and place it on your right shoulder, left shoulder, left shoulder, there you go. And just let your head just gently hang. And while you're there, look to the right. Look to the left. Look to the right. Look to the left. And gently look down at your feet and gently come back into the center. Oh, that was nice. Other side, left ear to left shoulder. Gently, gently, if it's painful, don't force anything. Take the opposite hand and place it on the right shoulder. Just let your ear drop down to the side. Look down at the mat to the left. Keep your ear to the left. Look to the right. Look to the left. Look to the right. Gently look at your feet and gently come back up tall again. Now with your arms out in front of you, we're gonna bring your arms right back behind. Use your fingertips behind you like you're in a big wind tunnel. Open up your clavicles and then bring them down. Turn your thumbs to the floor, down and in and stretch your chest forward. Up and out, open up through your clavicles. Open up your fingers behind you. Down and in, stretch down, chin to chest. Fingers down and in. One more big one. Open up wide and give yourself a big hug. Well done, everybody. That was great. Big kiss. Lovely to see you all. Well done, everybody. We're here every morning at 10 because I need it. 